Good evening, folks. Let's dive a bit deeper on this morning's plate movement story. I'd say I don't know how I missed this, but then again, there's a lot going on on this chart, and I was doing the morning news around 4 a.m., so maybe that makes sense. Here's the issue. There is an array of changes between the red, the 2011 motion, and the black, the 2018 study we showed this morning, and you see here. We see changes in direction and changes in speed. The length of the arrows indicates the speed of motion, with longer being faster speed and shorter being slower speed. I did take the liberty of going back to a popular 2006 image that pretty much matches the red lines from the 2011 study. So now we come back to 2018, we notice that most of the changes are of relatively low amplitude. Look at Africa. The direction did not change at all, but they pumped the brakes and said it's moving much more slowly the shorter black lines. Across to India and the Indian Ocean, down across to Australia, and for much of the Pacific, there are generally smaller shifts in the direction of motion, but not the velocity. And the shift in direction is at a small angle. But then we look up at the North Polar region. Across the Arctic, we see sharp changes in both the direction and the speed. North Atlantic has essentially halted, by the way. Then we look at the South Pole and we see 90 degree shifts in direction at a minimum, in some cases more than 90 degrees, and this once again comes around the Antarctic. Then we come to South America and the South Atlantic, west of the ridge. 90 degree changes once again accompanied by slightly faster motion at those anomalies except for Peru. So we step back out and ask ourselves, what does the North Pole, South Pole, and South America have in common that Africa and the tropical regions lack. What if I asked what the North Pole, South Pole, and South Atlantic have in common? Indeed, we can see that the largest changes were indeed made at the polar regions and the South Atlantic magnetic anomaly. It is notable that the rectangular projection plays with our visual perspective of angle and line length, but since the faults are labeled, we can see the differences between the motions towards and away from a convergence. We can tell that in cases of near to exceeding 90 degrees angle, the projection can actually make the difference seem smaller. This is considerably interesting on the large scale and also of most practical importance for South and Central America, where the plate motions have sped up and are somewhat different than what we've believed for a long time. I'll see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.